In a tragic turn for Hollywood industry, Donald Sutherland, the iconic Canadian actor known for his tall, lean frame and unique long face, died in Miami on Thursday the 20th of June 2024 at the age of 88 after a prolonged illness. Sutherland's son, actor and singer Kiefer Sutherland outside, announced his death on X Twitter. With a heavy heart, I tell you that my father, Donald Sutherland, has passed away. I personally think one of the most important actors in the history of film, never daunted by a role, good, bad, or ugly. He loved what he did and did what he loved, and one can never ask for more than that. A life well lived. Sutherland's illustrious career spanned decades, starting with countercultural classics like The Dirty Dozen, M.A.S.H., Clute, and Don't Look Now, and extending to critically acclaimed roles in Ordinary People, Without Limits, and the Hunger Games series. For over 50 years, Sutherland won Emmy and Golden Globe awards and got an honorary Oscar in 2017, played villains, anti-heroes, romantic leads, and mentors. In the past decade, he became well known as the evil President Snow in the Hunger Games series. Recently, in 2022, he appeared as Judge Parker in Lawman Bass Reeves and in Swimming with Sharks. Other recent roles include the series Undoing and Trust, where he played J. Paul Getty in the movies Ad Astra and The Burnt Orange Heresy. Sutherland won an Emmy for Citizen X in 1995 and was nominated in 2006 for Human Trafficking. Sutherland described his early career as meandering, with roles in low-budget horror movies like Castle of the Living Dead (1963) and Die Die My Darling (1965). He got a part in The Dirty Dozen in 1967. Sutherland said that during The Dirty Dozen, he had only one line until Clint Walker refused to do a scene. Director Robert Aldrich, not knowing Sutherland's name, pointed at him and said, You! With the big ears! You do it! This role fits Sutherland perfectly, and his charm caught the attention of producer Ingo Preminger, who cast him as Captain Hawkeye Pierce in M.A.S.H. 1970. As M.A.S.H. made Sutherland and co-star Elliot Gould, who played Captain Trapper John, big stars. Sutherland said director Robert Altman tried to fire him during the shoot, but Preminger kept him on. Altman later praised Sutherland, saying his improvisation was profound. Sutherland also starred with Gould in Little Murders, 1971, and Spies, 1974. In Kelly's Heroes, 1970, he played Sergeant Oddball, a hippie tank commander, with Clint Eastwood, they teamed up again in Space Cowboys, 2000. In Clute, 1971, directed by Alan J. Pakula and co-starring Jane Fonda, Sutherland played a detective who falls in love with a call girl. Fonda credited him for her Oscar-winning performance because of their intense relationship. Sutherland got involved in anti-war politics, joining Vietnam veterans against the war and participating in a traveling show called FTA with Fonda. The FBI put them both under surveillance. In Nicholas Rogue's 1973 horror film, Don't Look Now, Sutherland's acting highlighted Julie Christie's performance. The film's explicit sex scene became very memorable. At his peak, Sutherland made unusual career choices, turning down roles in Deliverance and Straw Dogs for Alex in Wonderland, he acted with Fonda again in Steel Yard Blues, 1973, and played Christ in Johnny Got His Gun, 1971. Sutherland had mixed reviews for his role in Day of the Locust, 1975, played the title role in Fellini's Casanova, 1976, and a fascist in 1,900 Inches, 1977. He had a memorable cameo in National Lampoon's Animal House, 1978, 
where he took a small fee instead of a percentage, costing him millions. Sutherland bounced back with Ordinary People, 1980, convincing director Robert Redford to cast him as the grieving father. In Eye of the Needle, 1981, Sutherland plays a German agent who falls for a married woman. In 1998, Sutherland was praised for his role in Without Limits and was memorable in Pride and Prejudice. 2005, as Kira Knightley's father, he made an impact in smaller roles, such as in JFK, 1991. Despite never being nominated for an Oscar, Sutherland's work in Ordinary People and Without Limits is highly regarded. He played notable roles in the Hunger Games series, the Italian Job, 2003, Six Degrees of Separation, 1993, The Great Train Robbery, 1978, and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1978. Sutherland also appeared with his son Kiefer in A Time to Kill, 1996, and Forsaken, 2014. Sutherland's TV roles included The Avengers, The Saint, Dirty Sexy Money, Commander-in-Chief, and The Pillars of the Earth. He won an Emmy for Citizen X, 1995, and played Clark Clifford in Path to War, 2002. Born in St. John, Canada, he studied at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art and got roles in British TV shows before moving to Hollywood after The Dirty Dozen. A private celebration of life will be held by the family. Sutherland is survived by his wife, Francine Reset, sons Roeg, Rossif, Angus, and Kiefer, daughter Rachel, and four grandchildren. May his soul rest in peace.